In the electric vehicle EV industry, Toyota Motor Corporation is recovering pace. And by resolutely utilizing the most cutting-edge EV technology, it is advancing. Its top rivals are BYD in China and Tesla in the United States, both of which specialize in the production of electric vehicles. Toyota has announced that it will use new batteries that will both extend cruising range and lower prices after 2026, before the next generation of solid-state batteries are prepared to hit the market. The automaker is also looking into how their vehicle's aerodynamic performance might be improved by utilizing hypersonic speed technologies from space rockets. This is accomplished through a collaboration with Mitsubishi Heavy Industries. Toyota will accept the challenge of expanding cruising range even further by reducing aerodynamic drag and enhancing BEV performance above and beyond customer expectations. Aerodynamic technology using hypersonic rocket technology as a foundation. Toyota and Mitsubishi Heavy Industries Limited Space Systems Division are working together to research the technology. It wants to present its discoveries as the foundational technologies for the upcoming BEVs. It is anticipated that it will combine a visually appealing design and packaging with aerodynamic performance by being able to reduce aerodynamic drag without being constrained by the geometry of the car. The application of aerospace technologies understanding of boundary layer control at ultra-high speeds is being used in the development of technologies in various speed ranges. Toyota also intends to upgrade its soft skills, which will enable it to enhance its goods with new multifunctional technology. We have no problem showing 90% of what we have. By initiative of Executive Vice President Hiroki Nakajima, Toyota held a technical briefing event at its Higashi Fuji Technical Center Susono City, Shisoka on June 8. Over 30 cutting-edge technologies were displayed at the extraordinary event, including test drives of brand new cars that are currently under development, in front of the media. Toyota goes through two levels of meticulous planning. First, the ability to quickly adjust to changes in the EV shift market in order to make improvements. And secondly, innovation to gain an advantage over present and potential rivals. The heart of a BEV is the battery. The battery supplies power to the car similarly to how the heart circulates blood throughout the body. Toyota is developing batteries with new technology to match customer expectations as it moves closer to releasing the next generation of BEVs in 2026. Liquid lithium-ion batteries, which are widely used today, will perform better thanks to improvements in square batteries' energy density, a field in which Toyota has extensive experience. Likewise, by adapting the bipolar structure created for hybrid electric vehicles HEVs to BEVs, we will broaden our product offering and give customers a variety of choices, ranging from widely used, low-cost batteries to ones built for superior performance. The invention of automobile batteries, the key component of an electric vehicle, is one example of innovation. Toyota is putting its next solid-state battery, which will transform battery technology, into production. The business is also creating two new battery kinds at the same time. Both pricing and cruising range, the two fundamental problems with present EVs, will be addressed by these. Improved lithium-ion batteries similar to those seen in Toyota's BZ4X electric vehicles are one sort of new battery. The cruise range will be doubled to 1,000 km with this battery. It will also cut expenditures by 20% the BZ4X can currently only run for 500 km. A cobalt-free iron phosphate battery is the other breakthrough. Cobalt is a rare metal that is used in most batteries. Only 20% more cruising range will be added by this battery to the BZ4X, but the price will be 40% lower, which is a big difference. Additionally, Toyota is working on producing high-quality, affordable batteries that will aid in the growth and adoption of BEVs and give customers a range of battery options. BEVs are now using the bipolar structure battery that was previously utilized in the Aqua and Crown hybrid cars on the Japanese market. It will be put to use in practical applications in 2026 to 2027 and uses affordable lithium iron phosphate LFP. In 2027 to 2028, a high-performance battery will be put to use in conjunction with the advancement of the popular battery model. This battery combines a bipolar structure with a high nickel cathode to achieve additional advancements. With a 10% improvement in cruising range, a 10% decrease in cost, and a quick charge time of 20 minutes or less, it will deliver even better performance than the performance version of the square battery. 
The two pillars of innovation and improvement are also relevant to the automobile industry. Car chassis from the past had 86 parts that were put together in 33 steps. However, the entire chassis is produced in a single piece using a revolutionary manufacturing technique called megacasting. It is a tremendous advance in the effectiveness of a procedure that now only requires one step. There are no conveyor belts when using megacasting. It is also a self-propelled assembly line, meaning that each assembly point is reached by the part on its own. This manufacturing technology helps to build cutting-edge, next-generation factories with a 50% reduction in factory investments and manufacturing procedures. EVs built around batteries and software were able to have the best manufacturing processes set up from the start thanks to newcomers like Tesla and BYD. Toyota's factories were built for fuel engine automobiles, nevertheless. As a result, it will take time until next-generation plants are operational. Toyota has created technologies that make use of its current resources at the same time. One is a multi-pathway platform that enables Toyota to create hybrid HV, plug-in hybrid PHV, and electric automobiles using its current production facilities and design them however they see fit. This lowers the required expenditure and enables the speedy introduction of new EV models to the market. The car company Toyota, on the other hand, has a long history and a wide range of software innovations. It has immediate access to this knowledge and information, which Tesla and BYD do not. These include fun technology that, when accelerating, alter how the car feels at the touch of a button. It gives the driver the option of selecting a family, sports, or luxury car driving experience. It is also possible to do data analytics using artificial intelligence AI using the vast amount of Toyota automobiles now on the road. Both the automatic production of digital maps and vehicle security are supported by this data and analysis. Naturally, no one is able to predict whether Toyota's most recent technological innovations will give it a competitive edge or win over customers. Furthermore, Toyota has come under fire for entering the electric vehicle market later than BYD and Tesla. Is Toyota gaining or losing ground? Swiss Business School IMD released its score for this year's Future Readiness Indicator for the automobile sector for 2023 in May. It depicts the EV shift's momentum, which put Tesla at the top and caused BYD to move up to number 2 from number 5 in 2022. Toyota, which was ranked 2nd in 2022, dropped to 10th place. In this context, Toyota's purposeful disclosure of technology advancements may have been an attempt to alleviate its sense of crisis. We'll release products at a speed that beats our competitors, Toyota's president of the Vehicle Development Center Takeru Kato said in a briefing on June 8 in reference to next-generation EVs. We'll unveil all of our new technology at once together, he added. Of the 3.5 million electric vehicle sales anticipated by 2030, Toyota's target is to sell 1.7 million next-generation EVs in that same period. Toyota will continue to pursue a variety of technologies including hydrogen engines, fuel cell electric vehicles, hybrid vehicles, and more in order to become carbon neutral. However, there is no denying that the company has gone on the attack in the EV sector. With that being said, do you think Toyota is gaining or losing ground in the EV race? Let us know your thoughts in the comment box below. If you've watched up to this point, thank you so much. For more videos about EVs, Toyota, Tesla, Ford, and the most recent auto news, please consider subscribing to Tech Addicts.